In this video, I'll show you how to keep column index number in VLOOKUP automatically. In the VLOOKUP formula, the column index number is manually typed, which is 6 here. But in this tutorial, you're going to learn how you can make it formula driven. So you don't have to count this number when you have large number of data and there are a lot of columns. There are two methods by which you can find the column index number by formula. Please watch this video till end and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Let's find out the first method or first formula how to keep the column index number in VLOOKUP automatically. So instead of number 6, I am going to type the column formula C O L U M N open the bracket. So I am going to find the column number. So here I am looking for cherry. So I will be selecting cherry here and close the bracket and enter. If your first column is not your lookup value, then instead of typing simply the column, you have to type column Z1 minus column B1 plus 1 and enter. So now again, I got the 1500. Now let's learn the second method how you can make the column index number dynamic in VLOOKUP. So equal to instead of number 6, I am going to use the match function and I am going to select the cherry because I am going to looking for cherry then I will select the column header then comma because I am looking for exact match I have to type 0 and close the bracket and enter now I have to make this formula absolute so that when I copy to the right side and down it should work perfectly fine let's go to the formula and make it absolute press F4 in the middle of the cell reference Press again, press again. Now here also you make it absolute. Let's make absolute to the I also. And here A1 and A1 also make it absolute and enter. Now if I copy to the right side or to the down, it will work perfectly fine. Now you can see here January and June grapes is value jar coming perfectly fine. 